what's up guys how you doing what's up force one fam welcome back to the channel hope all of you guys are well today i'm here at lake simcoe at cook's bay in guilford with an ice update uh, we've had lots of warm temperatures so i have not been on the lake for the last five weeks or so today is wednesday march 16th 2022 we're gonna check out the lake see what we're dealing with Unfortunately, I could not get my side by side today, so we're gonna be walking. Stay tuned, subscribe to the channel. We got lots of fishing videos coming up through the year, so hopefully, you join the channel. Hopefully, you enjoy this video. Stay safe, end of the season. Let's get it done. Let's check it out, see if we can get on the ice. Okay, here's the pressure crack. This is an axis, but not that great of an axis over here. There's a truck on the ice on the other side. There's a side-by-side -side down there with some huts. There's some guys fishing over there. There's another hut. That's a truck, it's a little bit foggy, so guys, if you come out here, be very safe. Here's the axis. Okay, park the truck. I'm walking down to the lake, parked at Cooks Bay Marina. You pay $10 and it's perfect. This is the end of Guilford Road. There is no access for ATVs or snowmobiles, but you can walk. That's the condition, guys. Shore is broken up. A little bit hard to get access, but it's still shallow here, so it's not too bad. Let me get my spud out. Always have a spot. A must. It's hard to get on the lake, guys. You know, shoreline is so soft. Let's see. See, we go right through. Very soft. You drive on this, like we're, we're maybe in. 10 inches, one foot, but you can literally go right through. There's a decent amount of people on the lake. Shoreline is weak. Let's go deeper, check the ice. Guys, I have my suit, I have my spud, my ice picks. You gotta stay safe, you know, very weak. Like, look, one punch, second punch, we go right through. We're still in shallow water, so it's okay. We're not gonna die. Holy, holy. We got on. We are on. Today we're gonna have to pull the sled. Okay, not too far from shore. 
shoreline. I'm in about five, six inches. It's still okay. Let's go deeper. I'm pretty sure it's okay. There's guys driving ATV, but there's gotta be a lot of soft spots. Shoreline, I think is gonna be the issue. That's it. Let me fly the drone over here, over these cracks. Okay, second spot. I'm, I'm about maybe uh, one kilometer away from shore. I'm in about maybe uh, 12, 13 feet. Literally, I'm sitting on a flat piece and then it drops into the main lake. It drops into 18 feet. So I'm gonna drill here, do a little bit of fishing and then get out of here. So let's check the ice deeper into the lake. Eighteen inches, guys. Eighteen inches. Oh. Holy, I'm sweating. More people are coming in on the lake to fish. It's getting a lot nicer. What a beautiful day today. It's getting a little bit windy as well, but it's uh it's about minus one right now, so temperatures are pretty good. So guys, closer to shoreline, uh, ice was around 17, 18 inches. I'm one kilometer deep, about 12, 13 inches, uh, 12, 13 feet deep, and the ice is still 17 to 18 inches. Um, pretty solid ice. 
Uh, the only problem is shoreline. I'm trying to get on, uh, trying to get on the lake from the shorelines. Most shorelines are broken up, soft. So uh, you do have to find a good access to get in. But a lot of people are driving ATVs and side by side. The guys with the hut rentals, they're removing their huts. It's the end of the season. Yesterday, March 15th, was the end of the season for, I believe, whitefish, trout, and some other species. But perch still open. So guys, if you're coming up here, stay safe. I'll be back, I believe, in a few days. I'll try to come back on the weekend and do some fishing and then give you another ice update. So guys, stay tuned. Please subscribe to the channel. We got tons of stuff coming up through the summer so hopefully you join us and uh and tag along so that's it guys 18 inches cooks bay guilford lake simcoe wednesday march 16th 22 i hope you guys enjoyed this one hopefully this video helped you if you're coming up here stay safe as you see i have my floating suit early season i always have my floating suit end of the season same thing just because there's soft spots uh, things could be a little bit risky so always take full precautions stay safe hopefully you enjoyed this one and we'll see you next time peace